Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with another episode of my player here on Xbox One. We're into episode number 49, I think this is now. And you'll be seeing this on Thursday night, recording this yesterday actually. Uh, even though it's my birthday today, time waits for no man. So I'm making a video today for tomorrow night and I'll have made uh, the earlier career mode, Chelsea career mode video that you've seen this afternoon uh, on my birthday as well. So hashtag dedicated cheers. But anyway, we're, uh, we're starting with the game against Hamburg today. We drew the first leg away in Germany 2-2 uh, and then just a couple of days after that we've got a game against our parent club Chelsea not sure whether we'll be uh, whether we'll be involved in that one we'll have to wait and see probably because uh, my player series at least don't tend to be too realistic with the fact that I'll be started two games uh, in the space of two days and uh, even in real life I would have been uh, you know not allowed to play not eligible to uh, to play against my parent club but uh, FIFA doesn't really seem to uh, to take any notice of the actual rules from real life so uh, I should be playing against Chelsea we'll have to wait and see but hopefully we can get a decent result from uh, this Hamburg game all we need is a draw of course those two away goals from the game in Germany will be enough to see us through to the round of 16 in the Europa League so fingers crossed we can come out with a goal we've got loads of assists recently we've got seven assists and three goals so far in our seven games at Everton it would be nice to pick up another goal if particularly possible because our goals to shot ratio has dropped to down to uh, to eight percent so we need to improve that so fingers crossed that can improve today and uh, we'll jump into the game against Hamburg. Hopefully we could come out with a positive result. Naismith won the ball off the defender really early there. Oh, I just had to check my run there. I'm going to call for a through ball. And if he can play the ball down the air channel, which he can. Set on myself. Slot it underneath the goalkeeper. Great save by Rene Adler. Those reactions though. That was incredible. We'll call for the ball towards the back post if we can get it. Oh, there was a man on the floor injured and uh, he played me on side perfectly. But unfortunately, Darren Gibson played possibly the worst ball known to man. Some nice pressure by Stephen Naismith in these opening stages. As that's twice he's won the ball back fairly from uh, the opposition, although the referee deemed that unfairly. Perhaps the tug on the shoulder was enough to uh, to give the foul, but hopefully they don't create anything from this free kick. Try something from the training ground, perhaps? No, he's just going to give it a whack, and that's a terrible free kick, and it flies over the top of the bar. I'm trying to give options down the outside here, but Maguire has gone back inside, so we'll drift back in. Hopefully find the ball at our feet sooner rather than later, and it has done. Take it round one. Ref! Thank you, we'll have a free kick there. Leighton Baines should be taking this if he's on the pitch. I'm not sure whether he's on at left back. Decent turn from us there. I was going to get a shot away on my left foot, but... Question of a dive. There wasn't too much contact, and I did go down in a, a rather weird fashion. But Leighton Baines steps up, and it goes just over the top of the bar. Flashes over. Decent free kick from Leighton Baines, but not quite accurate enough. Gibson's going to find one of us. It's Morales, I think, on the right-hand side here. Can he cut back inside? He can do. Have the shot on the snap, on the turn... Decent shot, straight at the goalkeeper though. I probably didn't quite get my uh, my body angle right there. And I, probably my fault for the fact that that wasn't a better shot than that. I'll make a run down the line. I'll call for a through ball. Can get played by Leighton Baines. Well, we say we want more goals, but we could get an assist here. Naismith, headers blocked by the defender, and it just plops straight into the hands of a Rene Adler. A couple of accomplishments there though for uh, for 30 complete crosses. So we'll take those. We are, of course, 80 rated overall now. Trying to uh, to improve every single game if we possibly can. Go for a through ball here from a guy gay. We could be in behind again. I'm going to try a step over and a cut inside. I didn't quite get the step over. We'll try a finesse shot. Oh, blocked by the defender again and go straight down the throat of Rene Adler. It's McCarthy, can we get forward for the last couple of moments in this first half? It's a nice through ball to us. Got men breaking in the middle. I'm going to cut inside one and then just try and stand it up. There's no one there, but Morales rushes in at the back post. Decent strike straight at Marcel Janssen, though, blocked. And you'd expect when they clear it, the half-time whistle is going to go. And we go in at the break at 0-0. So it's still 2-2 on aggregate. We're still technically in the lead in the tie with those away goals we got out in Germany last week. So hopefully uh, we can continue to at least keep the scoreline as is and uh, progress through to the round of 16. But if we can get a goal, then that will put my nerves at ease. It's Morales is going to use Tony Hibbert. He is. Tony Hibbert not particularly known for his ability to get forward, but he's going to make a darting run here. If he can use his, like, 12 pace, and he can get across him. We'll take a corner, though. Well done, Tony. It's the best thing you've done for the past four games in a row since Seamus Coleman's been out. Can we get a decent corner in here? It's coming our way. Can we win the header? Not quite. It's going to go out for a throw to us. Yeah, it did come off the defender and not me, so the attack isn't dead yet. I'll try and offer my support here. If Darren Gibson can run into someone that isn't quite the uh, the man. Let's pass it to McGuire. Now, what can he do? 
He's got Kevin Rallas outside of him. He's going to have the shot. Good save by Rene Adler. He's going out to perhaps for another corner. Magai Gay will keep it in and he's offside. Fuck's sake, Magai Gay. What are you even doing that, that far deep anyway? Idiot. Hibbert's just given the ball away yet again. Time and time again, this guy's letting us down. Rudnevs is in behind here. He's got support in the box. Can he find a cross? He can. Is the man going to win the header? He is. And we're going to go 1 0 down. And we are now behind in the tie. All thanks to Tony Hibbert being an absolute fucking shithouse. Honestly, man, he's so bad. I seem to be hating on him a lot right now, but it's deserved after that. That was a terrible mistake, and we've only got 25 minutes now to get ourselves back in the tie. Otherwise, we are heading out of European competition. I'm trying to put the pressure on the defence, trying to get a mistake out of them, because time is running out now. We've got less than 20 minutes to try and get ourselves back in this, and we need to at least win possession back, which is exactly what we've done. Now, can Stephen Pienaar find me with a through ball? He can. I'm going to try and dink this across to Naismith, who headers it. Oh, my God, what a save, Rene Adler. Absolute cat-like reflexes to get across to that. If there's a replay, I definitely want to see that save again. Decent angle for it as well. Down into the corner from Naismith. That is a wonderful save from the German. Let's get a decent cross in then from Kevin Morales from the corner. Hopefully it's headed our way. It isn't. We've got a man underneath it. It's Duffy dropping on the edge of the box. It's Stephen Pina gives it a whack. Might drop for me. It doesn't. Oh, and Hamburger are going to get the chance to break away on the counter-attack. we got... Oh, changed me to left striker now, so it looks like we're going more attacking, playing four up top now. Four up top, two up top. Uh, apparently, I've got revenge on a player that's tackled me twice now, and I've got high sock length. Probably won't use that, but still, if we can oh, win the ball back again, just pulling me left, right and centre at the minute. I'm not quite able to uh, to maintain possession, but we're getting closer to their goal, but we still have to beat Rene Adler, even, though, even when we do get close to the goal, which hasn't been a, an easy task so far. Here comes that change, Aidan McGee for Kevin Morales. Hopefully that can uh, prove the change that is needed to get us back into this game. We only need to draw this one, 1-1, one, one, and, uh, and we'll go through. Gibson, he's got a man outside him. It's Aidan McGeady looking for the back post. Oh, we've picked ourselves up a goal just in time. 89th minute, lovely ball across from Aidan McGeady. I thought the cross had gone a little bit too deep, but it just opened the angle up for us to head it back across goal and actually wrong foot Rene Adler there I thought I was going to volley it what a ball across but he didn't he just stood there headed it back across I didn't skip that unfortunately we've brought uh, Dumbia on for the last couple of minutes we're back in the game and as things stand we're going through to the next round of the Europa League there goes the final whistle then. That late, late goal absolutely saves our bacon. And we are through to the round of 16 in the Europa League. Unfortunately for Rene Adler, his numerous saves over the, uh, the two ties weren't quite enough for Hamburg. And we are going to progress through to the next round of the European competition, which is pleasing. It's nice to do so. And it's nice to be the reason that we do so as well with that good goal. What a save by Adler there. That was the one after just a couple of minutes. But we pick up a 7.3 rating, 80% shot accuracy, but uh, only the one goal from our five shots. So uh, only a 20% goal to shot ratio. But still, it's better than the eight that we have so far. So fingers crossed that will have improved. Although it doesn't, that actual objective thing only takes into account league games, doesn't it? So yeah, it still sits at eight. We've got one goal and one assist so far in the league. 6.8 rating, even though we've got, as you can see on the right-hand side, three more goals this year. But obviously they have come in cup competitions so we're one goal in the league but can we pick up another one against Chelsea if we get selected which we have done so we're going to play against our parent team here Chelsea at home at Goodison Park hopefully this one doesn't rain like it did uh, for the game against uh, Hamburg. Hamburg it doesn't it's going to be clear so fingers crossed we put in another good performance Tony Hibbert is out of the team and John Stones is in which can only be a good thing so hopefully we can have a better performance this time and uh, just as good a result I'm expecting a really tough game here Chelsea are obviously a fantastic side. They're playing Benzema, who is the reason why we're out on loan in the first place. Of course, if you're new to the series, we are actually contracted to Chelsea. And uh, they've got Karim Benzema and Sergio Aguero on their books right now, which is the main reason why we've come out on loan. We will be moving permanently from the club in the summer. But uh, we're spending the rest of the season from January out on loan here at Everton. So... Hopefully we can improve our standing in the, the world of football, you know, improve our reputation and get a decent move when it comes to the summer. But getting a good performance here against our parent club Chelsea would be the best way to do such a thing. I try and find the man in the middle, James McCarthy, with the pass I can do, unfortunately. Just rebounds off the defender there and Sirigu is able to, uh, to gobble it up and we stay at 0-0 in the opening stages. Here's McGeady into Oviedo. 
Now, can I do Gary Cahill with the skill? I can do. It's John Terry. Get the shot away. Sirigu with a good save. We kept it in through Oviedo. I kind of wanted a corner there, Brian. Nonetheless, decent shot. But still, 0-0 in the early stages. Aspi up to Benzema. They've got a chance to catch us on the counter-attack here, Chelsea. William with a gorgeous ball looking for Ramirez, who is onside here and just misses the target. I'm not really too sure how he was onside. He must have just absolutely put the afterburners on and raced away from the defensive line. But that is a glorious opportunity. He went for the near post and it just bent away at the last minute. Fortunately, past that near post and wide. Come Chelsea again. Maguire Gay's done well there to win that back. We get a turn and a pass. Got the ball to Maguire Gay. Now what can he do from here? He's gone a little bit too far. Wide gets the shot in. But it flashes across the face of goal and goes wide of that far post. I couldn't quite get myself into a decent position there. There were too many black shirts in the way. He kind of only had the option for the shot there. It was a decent attempt. But not really troubling Sirigu too much. Ender off. Here's Maguire Gay. Finds Oviedo. He's got two men, three men in the box now. Here's Leighton Baines. And what can Leighton do? Good cross. Man in the back post. McGeady on the volley. He's shot free. He's going in. Sirigu gets back to it and picks it up off the line. Matter of inches away from taking the lead there. That was an absolute calamity at the back. Not sure what's going on. We could play a ball around the corner here. Oviedo's in behind. Oviedo, can he put us 1-0 up? He can't. Sirigu again. The difference between 1-0 to Everton and 0-0. And it... Could be nil nil all the way to half time unless we can create something in the very, very final stages here. If Leighton Baines can get a cross in, it's found the guy gate. That's a ball coming into the box. He's going to find Oviedo again, and it's another great save from Salvatore Sirigu. He did the same when we were at Chelsea, and now he's doing it against us. Now we're at Everton, and there goes the half time whistle. So, similar to the game against Hamburg, we'll be going in at the break at nil nil. Hopefully, we won't fall behind before scoring this time and uh, we can actually take the lead in this one because we've played well enough to deserve a win just in these opening 45 minutes. Hopefully that can continue into the second half. Chelsea kept possession nicely in his past couple of minutes or so. Eden Hazard is on the end of that through ball. It's a decent cross. Could find Benzema at the back post. That was an important interception there from Akinfeyev because carrying Benzema most definitely would have headed that in at the back post had he not got his palm up to that. Chelsea going to pick up a throw in. That was more dangerous than it first appeared, actually. It looks like they're going to make a change. It's Benzema for Aguero. Wow. Not a bad change to be able to make, is it? We're making the change of Pinar for Maguire Gay. So we've got uh, Pinar on the left-hand side, Aidan McGeady on the right-hand side. Chance of perhaps Morales coming into, uh, into the fray a little bit later on. Aguero involved there straight away. Almost a mistake at the back, but we are going to get the chance to clear it. Here's Oviedo. I'm going to call for a through ball. You can play me here. Now, I've got the turn on Ake. I kind of get the shot away before JT gets that. I can. It's going towards the bottom corner. And again, the goalkeeper is the difference. Sirigu and Rene Adler are pulling out save after save against us in uh, today's episode. But hopefully we can do what we did in the last one and actually make the breakthrough at some point in this second half. Corner's going to drop on the edge of the box to Pinar. Tries the spectacular and unfortunately it goes absolutely nowhere near the goal. Keeping the ball well. Kunaguero having to drop back to try and get himself a slice of possession. McGeady's got great feet and he has kept the ball well there. McCarthy into Darren Gibson. Finds me. We'll try and get around the defender. We have shots away. Another good save by the goalkeeper. Oh, this is getting so frustrating. We've got another couple of accomplishments here for uh, dribbling and agility. Here's Oviedo. I'm trying to get out of his way more so than anything else. I think he got tackled rather than actually trying to play the pass there. Can I win that header? I can. Ramirez misses the ball. Here's Stephen Pinar. Finds me. We get the defender with the turn again. We can. Another shot. It's a poor one again on the left foot. Straight at the goalkeeper this time. That one was uh, less of a save needed or had less of a save needed. Oh, we're getting closer and closer, but we can't find that goal. Five minutes left. He's Oscar. He's got Aguero in front of him. Could use him. Aguero's got the pace to get away. Poor pass from Aguero. Probably could have taken his chances in on goal there. But there goes the final whistle. It's going to be a nil-nil draw at home against Chelsea. Two draws in today's episode, but we do pick up the most important goal of the episode and the only goal of it in that draw against Hamburg and to, uh, to put us through in the Europa League. So pleased overall. We've had so many shots. It's not going to do our uh, accuracy, not our accuracy, our goal to com our conversion percentage is the phrase I'm trying to get out. Uh, it's not going to do our goal to shot conversion percentage any good, but our accuracy is good. 100% shots on target from six, but a 0% goal conversion rate, which in turn isn't very good at all. But we'll have a look and see where we are in the league. And uh, perhaps we'll have a quick look at the squad report as well to see how we're doing stat-wise. Now we've picked up quite a few accomplishments in this one. Shots... <laughs> 
It's dropped to 5%. Our shot conversion rate, 6.7 average rating is bang on target for the season. They want five assists and six goals. We've got one of each. So still plenty of time. We're only in the beginning of March. So uh, there is time yet to, uh, to improve on that. Hopefully we can do so before the end of the season. But we'll have a quick look at ourselves. We're valued at £9 million overall now. 20 years of age so far this season. Both at Everton and Chelsea combined. 20 goals in 25 games in all competitions. So uh, that's not bad. We'll have a look at the actual stats. Sprint speed's now up 1 at 88, which is good. Ball control of 86, up 4, which is the main improvement there. Finishing not gone up yet uh, so far. But 80 is not bad. And uh, we're, we're doing okay. We're a decent player. We're not necessarily a world-class player just yet, but we're definitely one of the better strikers in the league, it has to be said. Definitely got a good uh, you know, amount of goals on the board, so hopefully that can continue. But that's going to bring this episode to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. That'd be absolutely superb. Of course, feel free to check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days. There's a, a link in the bottom left to the previous episode in this series if you mit missed it. There will have been a Chelsea career mode episode uploaded earlier on today, so check that out as well. And of course, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's a link in the top right and links in the description to subscribe to my Twitter and to my Instagram as well. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.